I had a lesson with 63 year old Steven. He had the problem of not getting a very good load in linear motion ahead converting to rotation and the drive of the hands and the extension of the lead arm and snap went for a good. Look at how the hands just stop there. They don't snap through. Lack of snap and lack of loading and driving getting that linear motion forward uh, really cost him some power. His early exit speed was an average of 62 with the highest 70. Watch Brett here and Watch how he loads up, gets some linear motion forward, and watch how the wrist snap through X style and then roll over afterwards. He's got a great body angle back here, launch angle back, hitting the ball up there. BJ Falk, a pro. Watch how he comes ahead on that load and how he hits that line drive. Look at how the lead arm extends, all being pulled by the rotation. It's rotation, drive, extension, and snap. X snap through the ball to drive it. You're jammed back, not that much of a stride. It's like your weight never gets forward off the back foot. Short stride ahead, just a very minimal amount of weight transfer, thus the rotation is hurt. Look at that wind as he's coming ahead, that coil, and then look at how the weight transfer helps his hips open more freely. Now look at your snap here. You come up to it, wrists don't snap, they finally break and roll over there. And just not a very good, look at the lead arm is buckled almost to your chest. You just don't get that good extension, not, not till after impact. Watch, watch his rotation pulls and extends the lead arm, he gets a snap through it. It's got to be a linear motion, a little bit more powerfully outside the rotation. And because of that, you'll tend to ride up over the top a lot of the balls here. There's not much load, not much coil, so you don't get as much unwind of the hips. You don't get a great unwind of the hips. And thus, you're going to be jammed back some, and lack of snap then makes you uh, roll over the top of the ball. And one thing is you want to hit the top of the ball. You don't have a lot of home run power. Uh, you want to be able to snap through and cut the ball, cut through the middle, cut through the bottom, and place it into the open area. Did a good job of doing that to center field. So let's look at the stance. Knobs down, elbows up. You're now loaded into the back hip. It's a subtle change, but it took a lot of mental fortitude and a lot of feeling to get loaded in their rear hip. Weight on the inside of the back foot should come ahead and then be flat. Here's a static hip drill. You want to feel the hips turn so that you uh, go ahead and uh, drag the back foot following the hip rotation. Here's a wind, the coil, and the rotation. But still, you're not pushing yourself forward as well. Again, that lack of uh, rotation makes your upper body lunge ahead at the end. Here we get a little bit more coil. You should come ahead farther, see, you short step it, but at least you're getting the hips to rotate good out of that static position. Perfect snap. Notice your lead arm. There's no extension. There's no drive and extension. You just turn a little bit and then snap your wrist. Your rotation should really pull. You should go outside the rotation with that lead arm, throw in motion like a frisbee and extend. This is a little better, but watch. Your lead arm doesn't keep extending and you don't rotate. So the perfect snap is going to be hard for you to learn harder than it's been, but something you have to understand is rotation of the upper body and, and the extension. Here's a 4T drill. Again, you can see all the elements still here. It's a decent enough strike with the axe, but it forces you to get more snap, and there is more snap sideways, but uh, you're, and you get a good coil, but you don't come ahead onto that front foot. Rope gives you the fast hands on the four tool T drill, and you explode the hands much better. Let's see how the lead arm looks. Better. Still not great, but better. Now when you get to the jimmer stick, I love it because it magnifies everything. Look how you don't get that weight shift under the front foot. You just, you don't get much arm extension off the lead arm and you roll underneath it. So we worked on getting the faster hands, more extension, better. Still not 100% Steve, but in a one day lesson you made a lot of improvement. This really magnifies the airs that you have. Hand path is better, but still, that lead arm's got to explode out. That left arm's got to explode out more, see? It's more pinned to your side. But it's a good strike on it. You're getting closer, uh, getting a better snap, getting a better load. The more we can load as you come ahead, the better your rotation's going to be. So that was an improvement. Again, lift the lead arm. It should extend out, extend out, outside the rotation, leading towards the uh, bottom of the ball. Then when you grab your regular bat, you can see you want to hit the middle of the ball because you want to place it, you want to get it up in the air, and you want to put it in that center field gap for the most part. The load, though, is much better. Hip rotation, upper body rotation is good. Just got to get more lead arm extension off of there. So we had some other drills we worked on that, but that's a good job off the tee. So here's where you can get better 
snap an extension without rolling over. Watch the lead arm. Look how it's extended there. The bad thing is your hips, you're not rotating as you do it. But leave the lead arm extend out. That's the position you want to get to. You want to get that lead arm extending out inside the rotation. You should be turning your shoulders a little bit more, and you have a good side snap there, good X snap to impact. Again, we want to add this, which is our static hip rotation drill. Make that foot drag because you're rotating. All right, and add that to Lee Falk. He's got a good load up there as he's coming ahead. You need to come ahead more, get the weight on the inside of the back foot like we talked about, and drive it because you're still leaving five or six or seven mile an hour on the table. I do think you could have expect, uh, occasional home run power along with the line drives you in the center field. But you can see on Falk, look how strong those rot that rotation of the, of the upper body works. Good arm extension, good drive, good snap, a little bit stronger hip rotation we need. Again, add this to it. The good swing simulator, a great way for you to practice it and keep yourself from rolling over, keep yourself from being jammed. So here's your final swings. You added, I think, uh, from 62 to 76 miles an hour, 14 mile an hour increase, and you're still leaving some on the table. One thing is you're a good, good load there, come ahead a little bit better, and there's just a, this is really a nice shot there. Look at the load, you come ahead better, watch the back foot, does it drag some? Yeah. So, I mean, if you can get weight going forward more and convert it to rotation great now watch the snap here you snap through uh, better watch the lead arm again the lead arm is what the hang up is it's not extending out it's staying pinned to your chest too much and that was a great swing so get the lead arm to extend out like that that's why we do the frisbee throw and one thing is again watch the lead arm here it's a little bit jammed it should be extending right out fast and that'll be the difference of five six seven miles an hour for you not much load there, but a good strike and a low ball. You're a good ball striker, which is going to make, if you can place it, you can give the ability to hit, hit to the open areas, a lot of, hit a lot of top spin balls, which is really what you want to do for your, for your game. Great shot to center field here. If you get the ball in the air over the pitcher's head, you're going to have a hit every time. There's a ball you hit with really good power. I think you hit one around 390 or so, 290 or so. Um, but that's not going to be your game, but it should be part of your game because you learn you can hit the top or middle of the ball. And here you're aiming towards the middle, and because you're getting you a little bit better extension there, a little bit extension there. That was a pitch that uh, you had a little better winding, a little bit better arm extension. So keep working on that. Uh, phenomenal. You reached, I think, 83 miles an hour where your top was 70 before. Look at the lead arm. It doesn't extend very good off the first free throw. Your hip rotation is better. That lead arm should, brace leg should be straight, but... Again, you need to extend that lead arm, throw it, drive it, throw it. Uh, you'll get extension off your body, like a Roman salute. Look at Brent's extend away from the body. It'll make your snap crisper and get you closer to where you want to be. So, phenomenal job. Some really great swings. You got the right idea about placing the center field. You didn't work off the tee much, so that'll, the GT will be a big part of your uh, training. And uh, let's look at these last swings. Great job for one day session.